Hello art fans and in last week's video we managed to create this big square painting. I'll just step back so you can sort of see the size of it. This one turned out really good and we just used a combination of two colours on that one. That was Payne's Grey and this silver colour and I was going on about last week this silver has got quite a bit of body to it gives us some really nice reflections so I definitely recommend these these two paints let me step back we'll check out this painting and I'll talk to you about some of the areas that I like about this piece so in this piece we've got this sort of white light source in the middle that's giving off a reflection over the water and we added in the silver to give some of those highlights. So yeah, just to recap on that, it was quite interesting painting with just three paints last week, the white, the paint's gray and the silver. You can actually produce something quite modern and abstract. For this week's painting, we're gonna be doing another square format. I've got a visual in my head of how I sort of want it to sort of turn out. So we're gonna get this piece down off the wall. We're gonna get a brand new canvas up there, get some paint out and let's get painting. I've masking taped off a horizon line and this time just a little bit higher than halfway. That's gonna give us a great starting point to get that horizon sort of where you want it. But I'm a little bit undecided whether to leave that as a harsh line yet. We'll see how this one turns out. Just quickly, you saw me mixing up some paint at the start of this video. We've got a ton of white with some blue and some yellow and some burnt umber in there. And like in my last videos, I'm just gently mixing it. I'm mainly sort of blending it on the canvas. Seven hours driving Just working my way down. Doesn't matter if you pick up on that, burnt umber is really strong. Just keep going over it and it'll blend in. Well, such a waste, such a waste, such a waste. Looking on the city lights Flashing bright in my eyes Look up to the sky and I got this relief inside Then there's no need to hide I'm going all the way up ah, I'm going all the way up ah. I'm just working my way down to that horizon line I'm just getting lighter and lighter as I sort of go down. So I'm just picking up on more of the white. I'm putting that in on the canvas. For this one, I'm just going to add another sort of element of depth into this one. Mixed up some red and some yellow. There's a little bit of burnt umber in there, picking up on some green, picking up on some of the blue. And I just want to feed that in. Added in like a, a layer of atmosphere, I suppose. And I'm just trying to blend that in with the, the colours behind it. Going in with a little bit more of that in the middle. Maybe some over this side. 
Yeah, don't forget as well to sort of paint off of the off of your canvas as well. Picking up on some yellow. And I'm picking up on some heavy white. And just loosely going into that. I'm really into sort of creating definite brush stripe lines as well. as though it needs a little bit of yellow a bit further up. When they told me this wouldn't be nothing Maybe I should take that advice Go get a life or Maybe get a job or something Pack it up and head back home Tell everybody I was bluffing Maybe I'll just get out my head And focus on what I know's coming yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without... Okay, I just want to introduce some of that dark Colour at the very top. Reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud, and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. But maybe, baby, this will fly. It feels like. Just gonna add a level of darkness in here. Just pick it up. Got some. Paint's grey on there. I'm just feeding that in from the very tip of the brush. Maybe all my exes is drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should call and say, told you I'd be right. Wondering how long it was before you realized the biggest mistake of your life. And now you're paying the price. Oh, is it covered? So I just spent a little bit more time than I'd normally do in sort of that top section. I did want to sort of create more of a sort of depth to this piece. I might come back to the sky, if you want to call it the sky, um, a little bit later on. But we're going to take off the tape. And then we're going to continue and work our way down. For the bottom section, I mixed up. I'm trying to sort of get like a... Um, the same sort of tone, so I'm trying to create like a grey, a bluey grey, and that consists of some green mixed in with some blue and some white. It's a really nice colour in the middle. Really do like that. Just want to tidy up this. I 
So I've just picked up on some of that grey with some of that white and I'm just going to get that right up to that horizon line. Just trying to take the edge of the horizon line off. I always find that you don't want it to be too garish. So you're just sort of trying to tone that horizon with the sky just a little bit. So just by introducing the white into that top line, it should take your eye off it slightly. I'm just picking up on some of that red and yellow. I'm trying to get that in the in the water as well, so just feeding that in. She said that she hate me, I hate me too. I can always tell when you're lying, go you see through all these miles away, yeah. I just wanna see. Okay, for this next section I'm gonna go in really heavy with some white or some lighter. A lighter colour. So in with that grey that I just mixed up, I put in some Payne's grey and also some more blue. Gonna add some of that blue colour in that top section just to tie it in slightly. You say you don't trust me, all the shit we've been through, why you always upset? I don't really get you, I don't really get you. Why should I always gotta be so stressful? We will probably go in with some highlighted white areas and then we're going to chuck back in on the grey colour. It'd be interesting to know, comment down below, do you paint from the top downwards or do you paint from the middle upwards or do you paint from the, the bottom upwards? Something I haven't really sort of thought about until now. Might go ultra heavy at the bottom and add some red in there. Okay, now we've got the paint coverage on there, it's now a case of looking at your piece and seeing where you want to include the highlights. We're at the final stages now of this painting, there's loads of colour, loads of depth in this one so I'm really liking it. I just want to sort of do something in this middle section just by adding some highlights in. White paint just on the tip of your brush, right on the end, and then I'm just going to feed that out as to where I want it. This is quite nice if you can sort of put it on heavy and it adds real texture to the piece. Remember to bleed it off of your um, edge of the canvas as well. Add a couple in 
down in this area as well. I want to try and get a real thin one running off the back there. So I'm just going on with some white onto the squeegee. You've seen me use the squeegee before. So that works really well, like the, the further away you are from the horizon, the, the, obviously the thinner those marks would be in real life, if they were waves. But you know, this is abstract. Just want to try and get a hint of that yellow down the bottom, but without trying to make it go too muddy. Who's not to say that there are some reflections going on down here? Hardly pushing on this and just dabbing to, to make a mark. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I do really appreciate you watching it all the way till the end. And I think the finished piece is absolutely stunning. There is a lot of colour in this and a lot of depth, lots of texture. Something that you could just basically stare at all day. So I've got a bit of a bug at the minute, not a bug as in COVID bug or anything. I've got a bit of a bug for painting seascapes and I can't stop sort of looking at seascapes, getting ideas in my head. I just absolutely love them. I keep looking at them on Pinterest, I forever scroll in, I like one, then you scroll again, then you like one, you scroll again, you keep scrolling. I think it's quite a good platform to sort of give you some inspiration and some ideas. And if you haven't checked me out on Pinterest, check me out. Or if you're watching me on a short clip on Pinterest, head over to my YouTube channel and you can watch me paint this entire painting from the start. Some areas I just want to point out on this, I absolutely love the red and the yellow. It's as though like the sun is there or the sun is setting. And sort of this dark section at the top and the sky. I did spend a bit more time on the sky, if you can call it a sky, um, and feeding in those sort of highlight areas. And that tip at the end, using the squeegee to create that sort of reflections of the waves, I think really works well. So. Yeah, don't forget to give that one a try. Just the colours on this, I think they really work well. They're all sort of the same sort of tones, so they, it sort of sits together really nice. Okay, so the website is up and running. Head over to flowworks.uk and you can pick up this original piece if you want. So I paint directly onto canvas and it could either be stretched, gallery stretched here, or it could be gallery stretched in your country. So this is the reason why I paint onto a canvas that isn't stretched, so I can make this easier to ship to different countries. So yeah, head over to that website, that's flowworks.uk and uh, you'll be able to find this original piece. The link is in the description down below, which will take you directly to this piece. And you can pick up this original or you can pick up some limited edition print. I print 25 limited edition prints of each piece of art that I create. So that way everybody can sort of share or a number of you can share my love for art. Thanks once again for joining me on my artistic journey and making this a reality. So please keep watching the videos. Please give this a thumbs up please subscribe and put those comments down below what you think of this piece. And again, if you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I can sort of gauge from my viewings if you like this. So until next week, I'm James, this is Flowworks and this is this week's painting. Have a great week and I'll catch you in next week's video.